Losing weight is tough. You eat less, even starve yourself. Exercise as much as possible, but still not lose weight? Well, you should also avoid some foods as much as possible. There are actually many factors that can influence your weight, from the rate at which you burn calories throughout the day to your daily habits and even overall health status. Cutting back on fatty and sugary foods might help, but you need a complete dietary change in your routine to help you keep your desired weight in the long term. So where do you start? Start with a whole routine change. Drink lots of water, be physically active, sleep well, and try to avoid these 40 foods as much as possible. You see, losing weight is not only about the foods you eat, it's also about the foods you don't eat. Make sure you watch until the very end, because after talking about the foods that cause weight gain, we'll give you a list of foods you should start eating instead to cut the fat. Let's jump in and talk about 40 foods that cause weight gain. Number 1. Potato Chips Potato chips are usually high in fats and sodium. According to studies, potato chips are the foods most associated with weight gain over the years. Yes, we know they're delicious and a fast snack to have on your way to work, or that they go well with Netflix and chill. But hey, if you're committed, try to cut back on your potato chips intake. You're on a mission to lose weight, right? Number 2. French fries. According to nutritional studies, French fries are linked to some of the greatest weight gain. 3.35 pounds in four years. Yes, they are tasty and easy to prepare and eat. However, they increase your blood sugar and insulin levels just as quickly as sugar does, but with an additional blast of fat. Moreover, french fries are extremely caloric. For example, a large McDonald's serving of french fries has up to 500 calories. They are deep fried and processed, and that makes the carbohydrates even more dangerous. Number 3. Sugary Drinks Soda is a sugar-sweetened beverage that contains a lot of calories. However, it's liquid sugar and it won't make you feel full, so you won't eat less food to compensate. On the contrary, you are tempted to eat french fries or potato chips with sugary drinks. That's quite a dangerous cocktail. So if you're serious about weight loss, you should give up on any sort of sugary drinks. Liking our video so far? Before we move on to the next food, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new informative videos. Number 4. Fatty Red Meat Some examples of red meats are lamb, beef, and pork. Some of these, especially pork, are extremely fatty and can cause abdominal weight gain. So make sure you take a peek at how fatty the meat cut is. Also, you should only eat meat from grass-fed farm animals. Processed meat is not good for your overall health. Number 5. White Bread Fine white bread contains a lot of sugar. Its glycemic index is very high and can cause your blood sugar levels to rise. And why eat white bread when there are so many healthy and tasty alternatives on the market? You can try Ezekiel bread made from organic sprouted whole grains instead, or almond flour bread. However, keep in mind that most breads contain gluten. Number 6. Processed Meats Processed meats such as bacon, sausage, or hot dogs are very unhealthy. Researchers have associated them with an additional 0.93 pounds of weight gain in four years. Processed meats are also thought to increase the risk of diabetes, hypertension, and even cancer. So tread carefully here and avoid processed meats as much as possible. Number 7. Candy Bars Candy bars pack a lot of sugar, unhealthy oils, and refined flour. They are high in empty calories. For example, your average chocolate candy bar contains around 200 to 300 calories, maybe even more. So try to keep your temptations in check. If you really crave for a snack, eat fruit instead. Number 8. Alcohol Well, you can enjoy your occasional glass of wine or maybe a beer, but not daily. Drinking too much alcohol can sabotage your weight loss goals. Usually, drinking opens up your appetite. You know how a beer calls for some spicy potato chips, pizza, and all the rest. 
Alcohol alters our perception of food, and we can end up eating more than we have planned for. Studies show that drinking alcohol can make us eat an extra 384 calories per day. That's huge. So if you're committed to your weight loss, cut down on alcohol as well. Number nine, fruit juices. You might think, okay, I'm avoiding sodas, but I can drink some fruit juices from the supermarket. No, you can't. They're also loaded with lots of sugar. If you want to enjoy a fruit juice, do it yourself. Don't buy it from the supermarket. Or to be safe, stay away from fruit juice and eat a bowl of fruit instead. Number 10, sweet cereals. Sweet cereals will not shrink your waist. In fact, they pack a lot of calorie dense sugar. So replace your favorite sweet cereals with something healthier like oatmeal. Oatmeal makes you feel full for more time during the day. In time, you'll also learn to love it. You can add some fruits to your oatmeal to make it more delicious. Number 11, diet soda. It's time to bite the bullet and tell you the naked truth. Diet soda is not good for weight loss either. Most diet sodas contain artificial sweeteners and your body will react to these just as it reacts to refined sugar. In fact, studies have linked artificial sweeteners to excessive long-term weight gain. So stay away from any kind of soda. Number 12, sweet chocolate. Hence the sweet. Dark chocolate has a lot of benefits for your health and even aid in your weight loss goals. However, milk chocolate will do just the opposite. Milk chocolate can expand your waistline by a lot if you do not remove it from your diet. You see, sweet chocolate contains heaps of sugar, contributing to your visceral fat growth. So, replace any milk chocolate with dark chocolate that is at least 75% dark, and you'll be one step closer to your weight loss goals. Number 13, pretzels. Packaged, salty snacks definitely stand between you and your weight loss goals. First of all, salty snacks contribute to water retention. Secondly, they can trick our bodies into thinking we need more food. Add salt to fat and you can eat more of it. So avoid pretzels and any type of salty packaged snacks in the near future. They're not good for your weight loss. Number 14, pastries. Pastries usually contain lots of sugar, refined flour, and artificial trans fats. Moreover, they are high in empty calories. So you can feel hungry very quickly having one or two pastries. If you're craving for a snack, reach for dark chocolate instead. Number 15, canned soup. Canned soups are a type of processed food that contain lots of sodium, causing your belly to bloat and increase your appetite even more. Moreover, sodium can dull your ability to feel when you're full. This definitely does not help you to lose weight. Number 16, ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream, right? Well, your weight loss plan doesn't. Believe us. Ice cream is usually high in calories and loaded with heaps of sugar. However, a bit of ice cream here and there would be all right if it were possible to stop at just a little. Eating massive amounts of ice cream in one sitting is a clear no. It would help if you made your own ice cream using less sugar and healthier ingredients such as low-fat yogurt and fruit. Number 17, pancake syrups. The majority of pancake syrups you find in supermarkets are high in fructose corn syrup and caramel coloring. These two ingredients have directly been associated with obesity, weight gain, and even insulin problems. If you really crave some pancake syrup, stick with 100% pure maple syrup, but tread very carefully there too. Too much maple syrup can also stand between you and your weight loss goals. Number 18, granola bars. Granola bars are made of hydrogenated oils and sugar. They don't contain much protein. Yes, they might be lower in calories than a traditional meal, but they do not contain many nutrients either. So granola bars cannot replace a proper meal. So why get all the sugar and hydrogenated oils in your system if they don't contain nutrients? Number 19, pizza. Pizza is very popular worldwide. However, most pizzas are very unhealthy. They are high in calories and contain lots of refined sugar and processed meat. 
If you are really craving a slice of pizza, try making one at home with healthy ingredients. While you're at it, try making some pizza sauce as well and avoid the one from the supermarkets. It contains heaps of sugar. Number 20. Muffins You know what a muffin top is. It's the body fat that extends horizontally over the edges of the waistline. What a name they chose for it, right? Well, muffins do contain lots of fat. Your typical blueberry muffin packs approximately 400 calories and about a third of the day's fat. And you know what's worse? They contain heaps of sugar, so no Starbucks pastry if you want to lose weight, okay? Number 21. Coffee drinks. Black coffee is okay. Caffeine can actually boost your metabolism and increase the fat burning process. However, your typical Starbucks Frappuccino is more than coffee, you know. All those artificial creams and sugars are very unhealthy. So try to avoid high calorie coffee drinks rich in sugars and cream because they're no better than sodas anyway. Number 22. Croissants and bagels. So, no, we don't want to torture you. We just want you to cut down on croissants and bagels. Yes, they're delicious and satisfying. However, they contain loads of white sugar and flour. As a result, your blood sugars will spike and then crash, causing you to feel hungrier than before. Number 23. Donuts Donuts are clearly do-nots when it comes to weight loss. First of all, they are made almost completely out of sugar and contain lots of empty calories. Secondly, they will cause you to feel even hungrier after the sugar spike is gone. So do not do donuts if you want to keep true to your weight loss goals. Number 24. Fast Foods Okay, so you were probably expecting this. Whenever you pass by a McDonald's drive through floor the gas and pass by quickly. These highly processed foods contain lots of preservatives, trans fats, and salts. All these ingredients trick our satiety hormones into thinking we are not full yet and we just keep eating more. So fast food? No, pass by fast, please. Number 25, refined sugar. Refined sugar in its many forms contributes to belly fat. The World Health Organization recommends we limit our sugar intake to 10% of our total daily calories. However, research shows that the average American eats three times more sugar than that. So if you want to lose weight, don't do that. Number 26, dried fruit. Dried fruit might seem like a very healthy snack. However, it isn't because most dried fruits you find in supermarkets are artificially sweetened. So we recommend you take dried fruit out of your diet and you'll avoid about 16 grams of sugar per ounce. It's a good deal. Number 27, refined white pasta. Refined white pasta has little to no fiber and nutrients. Your body will simply process it as sugar and that adds fat to your belly and thighs. If you really like pasta, make sure you only eat whole grain pasta and in moderation. Moreover, you should avoid the supermarket pasta sauces, which might also contain additional sugar and sodium. Number 28. Beer Yes, we have already mentioned alcohol in this list, but beer is special. If you're serious about losing weight, we recommend you quit beer forever or until you get to your desired result. Numerous studies have linked drinking beer with high BMIs and large waist circumferences. More than that, beer calls for other unhealthy chips and snacks and you'll end up in a vicious cycle. So better stay away from beer. Number 29, cookies. Throw away the cookie jar or put it under lock and key until you achieve your desired weight loss goals. Cookies are double trouble. First of all, they are filled with palm oil that promotes fat-causing inflammation. Secondly, they're addictive. You cannot eat only one cookie. So no cookies on your road to weight loss, okay? Number 30, soybean oil. Vegetable oils such as soy, corn, sunflower, or palm oil have a high concentration of omega-6 fatty acids. For a healthy lifestyle, your omega-6 to omega-3 ratio should be one to one. Studies show that people who eat a lot of vegetable oil-laden foods have a ratio of 20 to one. That causes inflammation, obesity, and many more troubles. Number 31, burgers. 
Burgers are high in saturated fats that trigger white adipose tissue inflammation, leading to obesity. According to studies, burgers represent 19% of the total of saturated fat consumption in America. Stay away from them. Number 32, street food. If you want to lose weight, you should avoid the conventional street food that is rich in hydrogenated vegetable oils. These types of foods can lead to fat storage around the belly, and that's the least you want when looking to lose weight. Number 33, deli meats. Deli meats are loaded with sodium and chemicals associated with obesity and chronic diseases. Eat pure, grass-fed meat instead to build natural muscles. Avoid processed products at any cost. Number 34, bottled tea. Bottled teas are usually loaded with lots of sugar. Don't be tricked into believing they're healthy as the traditional tea you make at home. Essentially what you're drinking is a cup of sugar water with aromas. So please throw away any bottled teas and make yourself a nice hot cup of classic tea at home. Number 35, waffles and pancakes. Waffles and pancakes contain all the usual suspects we've been preaching about so far. White flour, salt, butter, sugar. The eggs and milk will not save them from being big old disks of empty calories. Come on, you can do better than that. Avoid waffles and pancakes. Number 36, fried chicken. You knew it was coming, right? Deep fried foods in general can trigger the production of advanced glycation end products, AGES. These are harmful compounds that form when protein and fat link with sugar in the bloodstream. Avoid these as much as possible. Number 37, pies. Pies are baked desserts that contain high levels of trans fats. These trans fatty acids can increase the risk of heart diseases and other chronic conditions. Moreover, if you truly love your waistline and thighs, stay away from pies or any kind of baked desserts. Number 38, artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners are no better than sugar. They can also lead to weight gain and only fuel your sweet cravings. Moreover, studies have associated a large consumption of artificial sweeteners with an increased risk of type two diabetes. So next time you feel that sweet craving, eat some dark chocolate or fruit. Number 39, cream cheese. Two tablespoons of cream cheese have about 100 calories, nine grams of fat, and six grams of saturated fat. That's quite a lot and you don't get much in return. The amount of calcium is too low and the fact that we tend to spread cream cheese on bagels or other sweet pastries is even worse. So if you leave cream cheese out of your diet, you'll be happier in the long term. Number 40, onion rings. Everything that's good about onions has been ruined when it comes to onion rings. They're deep fried and just as bad as french fries. They contain lots of calories, saturated fat, and sugar. So avoid them as much as possible. In conclusion, losing weight is a journey that requires quite a few sacrifices. We're sure most of the foods on this list are your favorites. Giving them up won't be easy. However, you need to. Write down your goal of losing weight and keep to it. A well-balanced diet is half of the job. You'll also need plenty of exercise, lots of water to drink, and lots of sleep. Come on, you can do it! Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Your wellness is our mission.